um, questions? I know it's the, the tree thing is kind of confusing. I, I'm, I'm not so concerned that you know all the details about the tree, but um, what I do want you to remember is that the, the tree structure is the, or the phrase structure is something that's common to all the world's languages and it's a structure that allows you to take a very complex sentence and kind of break it down into kind of the, the, the major component pieces. Okay? Um, so what do all human languages have in terms of their phrase structure? So these are kind of some of the details I went into. Uh, does anybody remember any of the details? Yes, can you? Okay, right. So so each 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 phrase each phrase has a head, right? What else? So what did I say about verbs? What's important about verbs? Yes? Um, that it lays out the structure of relationships. Exactly, right. So it, uh, each, each verb lays out a structure of relationships by assigning nouns as role players, right, for the verb. Okay. And prepositional phrases, which are basically Okay, so prepositional phrases, so actually, prepositional phrases can do either, they can also um, be assigning role players, but they could also be modifiers. So there's, there's two ways in which prepositional phrases can work, but they can also assign role players to nouns, um, but they can also be modifiers. All right? Um, so, yeah, that's good enough. So what is the function of case tags on nouns? Does anybody know a language that uses cases? that are more explicit than in English? You know, like Latin. Anybody learn Latin? No. Or German? No. German, yeah? All right. So you know, right? Cases, right? Okay, but English has cases too. It's just that they're not very obvious. You don't, you, we, don't, we don't alter the nouns in order to, uh, to demonstrate the cases. Uh, but as I indicated, we use word order to indicate the case. So what's the function of case tags then? Already? So the function of case tags is to uh, assign a particular role to a noun in relationship to the verb, right? The, it's either the subject or it's the object or the indirect object. Yeah. So in English, those are the, the, the three main roles that, in, that a noun can have, right? That the, the case tag is assigning. And it's assigning it, you know, here basically it's, it's through word order. I mean, the, the, the subject is going to come before the verb. Indirect object is coming right after the verb, and the direct object is going to come after the indirect object, right? So that's how we saw that. Yeah? Can you kind of explain the relationship between universal grammar and descriptive Yeah. Uh, so the universal grammar is going to tell you how every sentence can be um, kind of described within a, that phrase structure within that tree structure, right? And then the specific language is going to give you um, more detailed information about, for instance, what word means what, right? So whatever, man is going to mean man in English, but you're going to use um in French, right? So specific languages are going to have different vocabularies. But they're also going to have an additional thing, which actually I'm going to go into right now.